All right. Hey guys, welcome to our weekly Team Perseverance team call. My name is Kristen Atkins. Obviously, I am not Dave. I have more hair. Um, I am taking over for tonight. <laughs> you like that, Allie? Um, I am taking over for tonight because he is with Sadie at Hockey. Um, I'm sure he'll be walking in in the next 20 minutes or so. But um, today is May 15th. Um, thank you for joining us tonight, guys. And I am going to start off with some... Um, some news, then some recognition, and then we'll get into tonight's topic on branding yourself, which is something that I have talked about in the past, actually. I've done other calls on it. Um, I think it's probably one of the most important topics um, to talk about and to keep talking about, especially if we have newer coaches on the call. Um, just to always bring it back to why we're here and for you to really focus on who you are and how to best attract people just like you. Um, so first, as far as news goes, um, Summit. Guys, Summit is only, oh, how many days is it? Does anyone know? I forget. I, I didn't check the app. 56 days, 55, something crazy like that. It's like around the corner. It's a few weeks away. Um, if you have not registered for Summit yet, you still can. You just need to go to your Coach Online office, get click on the registration, and you can register. They will let you register if they give you an email. Um, those of you guys that are already registered and coming, um, I'm so excited. Please make sure you edit the doc in the Team Perseverance um, coaches page so we get a head count. We are going to be doing a team party, um, so we're looking into that as well. I have my, my little friend, Lynn, who lives in Louisiana, who's going to be giving me uh, some information on some good places for us. Um, guys, you have to go to Summit. If you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence about it, um, money's tight or, you know, oh, it's just too much, just go, go guys. Just, just do it. Like Nike says, I'm telling you, it's a game changer for your business, for your life. I mean, you go there and you, you just get to see how you're this little tiny ant and like this big ant hill. Like, it's just crazy to see what you're a part of when you go to these events. Um, and this is only once a year. You know, I always hear, oh, next year I'm going to go, next year I'm going to go. And every time those people say it, they see all of us posting like crazy on it and they get jealous. And they're like, man, I should have gone. So please make sure that you go, um, make it happen, do whatever you need to do. I know my coach Joanna is working on flying to Greece when she gets back and trying to squeeze it in. We'll see if that happens. But Summit's the place to be, guys, I'm telling you. All right. Um, UV2 launches tomorrow, right? It's the 16th. So our brand new program, UV2, will launch. It'll be on Beach Body and Demand. Um, it is a great beginner program. Um, it is a program that has a separate channel specifically for children to do it alongside with you, which is the first time they've ever done that. That is so cool. Um, guys, that's definitely something you want to leverage with families. Um, that's the reason why um, these at-home workouts work. You know, this is like a side effect of, you know, being able to work out at home is that your family gets involved in it. And that's not something that happens when you, you know, leave your kids and go to the gym. So I always stress that to people like my kids get to see what we're doing. My kids want to do what we're doing. So it's really important. So UV2 is a great program for that. Um, and it's a great beginner program. It's a lot of fun, very similar to uh, Richard Simmons in the old days, um, but in a really fun way. And, and it makes you feel like you're not working out, which is really great for people who are intimidated to start a, a workout program, right? I mean, if they look at insanity, they'll probably just pass out from looking at it, right? It's, it's intimidating. Um, so this is a great um, gateway program. Um, okay. In June, June 1st, they're having a new all-access challenge pack release with the performance line, which is really exciting because we've been asking for that. Um, so sometimes people can't drink Shakeology for whatever reason, um, if they have an allergy or something like that. Now we have the all-access performance um, line challenge pack, which is going to give them energize and recover um, in place of Shakeology. So we will get two points for that, and that is going to be effective June 1st. There's also going to be a Shakeology and a Portion Fix Challenge Pack upgrade, which will only be for um, BOD members, but they are able to upgrade their, um, their package to get Shakeology and get the Portion Fix containers to make it a complete pack for $130. So that will be available too. They did not give a date on that, but I'm assuming that's in the works. Um, and I think that's it for in any type of news. Today should be the first day of your new challenge group. Um, so good luck with this and have a great month. Guys, the important part for your challenge group is to make sure that you are consistent with your journey. 
okay? Even if you have challengers or other coaches who aren't showing up, the important thing is to make sure you're showing up every day and that you're consistent in what you're doing and then hopefully that they will follow, all right? So let me get to my recognition over here. All right, I am gonna go for, the, first I'm gonna go, I'm gonna talk about the April Leadership Ladder um, Honorable Mentions. For our business starters, we have Mary Palumbo, Candace Feldman, Jessica Rupert, Tyann Sanchez, Beth Guerrera, Joanna Anamandoris, Amber Deegan, Stephanie Speeding, Darlene Champ, Michelle Broder, Rosita Violi, Maria Peterson, Elisa Cahill, Sharice Nolson, Dana McLeod, Gina Strecko, and Julia Carrera. Congratulations, business starters in April. Team builders for April, Kelly Della Vecchia, Mary Doyle, Joan Carosa, Crystal Robinson, Stacey Larice, Shannon Larice, and Lindsay Kaufman. Good job, guys. Team leaders, myself, and organization leader, David Atkins. Good job, guys. All right. Now I'm going to head over to the week leg team volume for May 4th through May 10th. In the 300 Club, we have Gina Strecko, Darlene Champ, Bob Strecko, Jay Fertil, Deirdre Paisley, Sydney Larice, Shannon Mann, Liz Mullenbrook, Liz Ma, I'm sorry, Liz Mayer, jo Joan Carosa, Janine Gershenhoff. In the 500 Club, me, Kristen Atkins, my second business center, Michelle Dallasala, Devin Wheaton, Lindsay Kaufman, Cami Coart, Mike Dallasala. In the 1000 Club, we have Denise Bropson, Sharice Nolson, Jeff Nolson, Jen Holdman, Kelly Della Vecchia, Tony Carlucci, Shannon Larice. In the 2000 Club, we have Tara Richmond and Dave Atkins in a second business center. In the 3000 Club, we have myself, Shanna Carlucci, and Stacey Larice. And in the 10,000 Club, we have Dave Atkins. Congratulations, guys, for joining the club. It's good to be weak. And I'm just going to do that. I'm just for the fun of it. The top 10, the weekly top 10, we have Melanie Yoakum, Beth Guerrera, Michelle Broder, Dana McLeod, Steve Mann, Shannon Larice, Crystal Robinson, Cindy Corwin, Melissa D'Ambrosio, and myself. Congratulations, guys. Give everybody a round of applause. You guys are working hard, and it shows. And now Dave's home. Okay, he can take over. Can I say hi? Yeah. What's up, guys? Ooh, there's a lot of people on. How's everybody doing? I miss doing the calls. Like one more month, and Sadie's Monday hockey is Done. to a close, so I can get back on with you guys. All right. So we are going to start. Hey, Sadie. So we are going to start our topic on branding. And guys, I'm going to keep it short and sweet and to the point with you um, because it really kind of is um, important stuff. But here's the thing us as coaches, right? We are all different. We are all unique. That's what makes us so special. I, I really think that because we're coaches, we are able to empower other people by the, what, what we bring to the table. So what I bring to the table is very different than, let's say, what Lindsay Kaufman brings to the table, right? Or very different than what Diane Rizzo brings to the table. We all have different backgrounds. We all have different stories. Um, and we all have different journeys. And, and I think that's, that's so unique for us. If you think about any other MLM out there, um, if they're selling one product, like they don't have the opportunity to share a story, right? This is our journey and that's what makes us so unique. So you have to take who you are and you have to run with that. That is what you need to be sharing on a daily basis. We don't want to be cookie cutter robot coaches. Those are the coaches that don't go anywhere. We need to, to use social media as our, it's basically like our billboard, right? It's our, that's how we brand ourselves. It's free advertising. Okay. So it's really important that we use it to our advantage. So what you need to think about for who you are, you need to know who you are before you even start this, right? I know a lot of coaches stress out about posting on social media. And I was the same way when I was a new coach. Um, it's normal to feel like that. Um, but you just need to put yourself out there because there are people who will be watching you consistently and they're going to be looking for your consistency. And that I think is the key is that you, you just keep going and you don't stop. You need to get past the point. Sadie, I can't concentrate here. Sorry. She's just talking, talking, talking. You need to get past a point where you don't worry about what people think of you, but you, you focus on the people that need your help. 
okay? Because when you get rid of the negative thoughts that might be holding you back and you just start doing it without thinking, there's 10 times more people that are going to come to you with positives than, than the two people with the negatives. So you always have to keep that in the forefront. Why are you doing this, right? Why are you putting yourself out there? People need, need you. People need our help. So I hope you guys have a pen and paper. You can even use the notes in your phone, whatever it is, get that out now, because I need you to brainstorm a little bit. And, and, and this is something that I still need to do too, because I think it's always evolving and changing, and you really need to know who you are. So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to think about who you are right this second. What are all the hats that you wear, right? Like if you're a wife, you're a mother, um, what do you do for your job, you know, your chauffeur, whatever. All the different things that you do in your life right this moment. I want you to just create a list right now. Just bullet point, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna give you like two minutes, okay guys? Because this is important for you to know this. And I might ask a couple people to share this real quick. Just listing all the things that you do in your life right now. Your daughter is listening to you. <laughs> okay, good. All right, who would like to share what they have so far? And you guys can always go back to this. I'm, I just don't want to take too much time. I just want you to get the gist. Who would like to share? Who are you? Anybody? You can unmute yourself. I will. Okay, Maria. Thank you. Sure. Go for it. Okay. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a busy professional. Mm -hmm. um, I'm nearing retirement. Mm -hmm. 55 is coming in a couple of months. That's exciting. Um, I love motorcycle riding. Um, I really enjoy doing my live videos on my like page. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I like making greeting cards. Um, and I like sending my sister off to visit my other sister when I, so I can get a break. <laughs> 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 but, um, you know, all in all, I just like being funny and, um, I, I like it when people don't take me too seriously. Okay. I love that. I love that. And, and, and I do believe that those are all pieces of you that you do share, right? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And, and I think that's important. So whatever you guys write down, you want to make sure that you're kind of rotating through all of those pieces of you in your daily posting. It's called breadcrumbing, right? We just post little bits and pieces of who we are. So basically... You know, when you're sending those new friend requests to people, the first thing they do is they check out your page, right? They look at your profile picture, they look at your cover photo, and they're like, oh, who's this chick? Let me check her out. And by scrolling your newsfeed or your wall, they should really have a good idea of kind of who you are, right? I think if you do a really good job with branding, people are like, oh, this person's into health and fitness. Oh, this person, you know, oh, I, oh that, that's their family. Oh, they have kids. Oh, maybe they, uh, you know... Maybe they walk dogs or love dogs or something. You know, they should be able to get a good vibe of who you are. Oh, wow, this person's inspirational. Look at the, all these cool quotes they post. Oh, look at these live videos. This person puts themselves out there. Um, they really should know who you are by you branding yourself. So little breadcrumbs of all of those pieces of who you are should come out. Okay? Anybody else want to share um, who you are right now? Just like a little bulletproof. Bulletproof. Listen to me. Bullet point list. I'll go ahead and share. Who's that? Shannon. Hey, Shannon. It's Maria broke the ice. <laughs> That's right, Maria. You did. <laughs> go ahead, Shannon. <laughs> I miss you, Maria. Um, okay, so grandmother. Still yeah. getting used to that title. Uh, empty nester. I work from home for my full-time job. I'm a caretaker. I'm a fur mama. Uh, a wife, newly relocated, beach living, salt life, um, and I have been through gastric surgery. Okay. 
Now, would you say that all of those little tidbits have been shared on your social media? Yeah, usually in the form of um, making fun of everybody else who doesn't get to work from home or isn't 20 minutes from the beach. Okay, so you make fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But or maybe we're rub, just rubbing it in. All right. As long, I, I think it should be like just that, you know, you feel very blessed that, that that's the life that you created and that's something that's important to you, right? So those yep. are all pieces of you that should be shared throughout the course of a week, you know? Um, excellent. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks for sharing. All right, guys. So the next part of this is now to kind of go back in time. Some of you are newer coaches. Some of you, you know, have only been around for a short period of time, but some of you have been around for a long period of time um, as coaches. So what I want you to do is go back in time a little bit, and I want you to think about who you were before Beachbody came into your life. You know, describe yourself back then, all right? It could be talking about, you know, what your struggles were at that point, kind of like your pain points. Where were you? Um, in your life before, right before Beachbody came into it. So just kind of make another bullet point list of who you used to be. I'm going to give you guys like two minutes for that one. All right, you guys can finish that up later if you did not finish it up, but who were you before Beachbody? Would anyone like to just share kind of where you were at in your life um, beforehand? I see Michelle Broder reading, raising her hand. I'm gonna unmute you, Michelle, and then Allie, you can go next, okay? Okay, hi. Hi, Michelle. Um, I was uh, retired Air Force. I had a lost identity. I w became a housewife. I was a caregiver. I was overweight, I was tired, I was frustrated, and I was a, and I was a distance runner. Mm -hmm. So that was me back then. And I look at it now, and it's just, just changed totally. Totally. Now, yeah. so it's so important for you to keep going back there, Michelle. Yes. Uh -huh. Because those people that will be attracted to you are the people that were you, mm -hmm. right? before yes. you found Beachbody. So those are the people you want to help. So it's a really important to do, you know, I, I, it sounds silly, but like a sentence starter or a story starter. Like when I was a teacher, that's what we would do in like first grade, mm -hmm. okay, story starter. But like, you know, I remember when, or not that long ago, you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of how you start your posts. And it's like, those are like the more reflective posts, you know, where you're really getting deep and you're thinking about wow, where was I and, and what's changed? You know, mm -hmm. my body has changed me. How has it changed me? And it doesn't have to be just about, you know, a coaching opportunity post, like, mm -hmm. like, oh, I have money now or, you know, whatever. It could be, you know, the internal things that have changed. You know, I was mm -hmm. miserable. I hated my life. I, I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. I didn't recognize myself anymore. You know, now I'm confident, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm sure there's so many things in that list that have changed. Yes. And you have mm -hmm. posts for uh, months and months, right? Mm -hmm. Just take little tidbits <laughs> yes. of each of that list, and you create those, and you just share them. You breadcrumb them. Um, people are going to get a really good feel of, of, of what this Beachbody thing has done for you um, and mm -hmm. want to be a part of that. And that's really the important piece 
um, here is, is not to be like, oh, I have abs uh, da, 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 right now. Yeah. Right. Like, and, and I, right. You know, and, it's, and you have to continually do it because we're continually adding new people to our network. Right. So I yes. have, people who have mm -hmm. like sometimes I'll post a picture of me when I was like really not so healthy and people are like, oh, my God, I, I, I wouldn't believe that's you. And I'm like, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. you need to, continually bring it up and like show new people like oh no this was me you know you might get sick right mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. to let people know like this is where i was at and not even just wait like what has changed internally and and you yes know, uh -huh. the part of it you know like mm -hmm. look at all of us like we none of us would be connected had it not been for beach body right i know mm -hmm. all living these separate lives so lots lots of content just in that list alone right mm -hmm. yes so thank you mm -hmm. for sharing, Michelle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Allie, you're up, my friend. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, hey. gosh, you guys, this list could be so much longer, but I'll keep it short. Um, before Beachbody, holy mackerel. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Heavy drinker, mm. cynic, angry, mm. lazy, sad, embarrassed. I was a liar. I was closed off, absent miserable full-time employee a mommy with zero energy and 40 pounds overweight wow right i'm not gonna cry but there it is wow and now what has changed ali i can tell obviously all of it but what what what's the biggest what has been the biggest change for you oh gosh Kristen. um i think for me, the biggest change is uh, just coming clean with uh, something's got to change, right? right? Like actually looking in the mirror and saying enough is enough. And I think that that's a big pivot for for everybody. But when you when you can look back and remember that exact day that that happened, like that was a big day for me two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, I guess it's surrender, surrendering to the fact that you need help, surrendering to the fact that you can't do this by yourself. Because, I mean, who hasn't done the Weight Watchers and the Jenny Craig and the Slim Fast, what, ha what, you name it. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess the, the pivot point for me was realizing that I couldn't do it on my own and that I needed, I needed a challenge group. I needed a coach. I needed help. Needed um, so. Yeah, the biggest thing for me is surrendering to help. That's huge. And that, that can be your theme. I mean, that, that could be your thing, like that you continually bring up over and over and over again because you need the people who were you two years ago to see that, to hear that, to feel that, to know that there is an answer, right? And you found it and you can help guide those people in this direction. Yep, and amen. so powerful. So, so powerful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, all right, one more person want to share? I like, to, I like these stories, honestly, to hear where people were before Beachbody because we're all so amazing now. I mean, like, we're just, like, just so cool and amazing, right? But um, to see, like, kind of where we came from. Anybody else want to share real quick, and then we'll move on to my tips? Lindsay? I see you. There you go. Oh, and this is like wanting to be up. So um, before Beachbody, I was a still a mom and a wife, but I was depressed. I was insecure. I was overweight. I was an emotional eater and an emotional drinker. I was a follower and I was an introvert. Mm. And like Ali, this list could go on and on, but you told us to stop. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And so obviously all that has changed. Um, yeah, for the better and, dramatically, and and you're very good at sharing that. I know. I, I see you guys post. Um, you're very good at sharing kind of where you're at and kind of where you were. And I think that's it's just huge. That's huge for us, guys. It's important for us to be vulnerable. Even just sharing on this call, that's vulnerable. Like just putting myself out there, saying this is how I was. Um, and you know, yeah, you're not proud of it, but that's that. But that's reality, right? That's where you were at. And, and, and I think like Ali said, like you almost had to hit rock bottom 
to kind of make that change and say, okay, now I'm ready for this change because everything just kind of comes crashing down. Um, so I think that's so important. And, and again, so important to share that with people. Don't, don't think you have to be perfect on social media. You should not be perfect on social media. You should be sharing who you are because that is what is relatable. That's the key, guys. You want to be relatable to people. We are not Barbie dolls. Like I look at some of these top coaches, like I look at Lindsay Matway and I'm like, wow, she's perfect. But let me tell you, when at Summit, she shared her story, I was like, whoa, like she has got some baggage. And, and it made me change my point of view, like looking up at her, you know, very, very different. Um, and I, I gained a lot of respect for her. So that's, that's the point of the story is to really use that list of kind of, who you are now to share what you do, who you are on a daily basis, right? Um, and to use who you were before Beachbody and keep using that as your reflective uh, posts to show people your journey. Like, this is where I was and this is who I am today. This is what Beachbody has done for my life, right? I, it's not just about losing 25 pounds. It's not. It's so much more than that. You have to make sure you're conveying that to people and conveying it over and over and over again. Because remember, we're on a Facebook bu bubble. Not everybody sees your posts all the time. So don't always think that you're boring people by saying the same things. You're not. You're, 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 get, you're getting new people every single time you post because de depending on the, um, the way that Facebook algorithms work. Okay, cool. Any questions so far? No? Okay. Um, so basically, I'm just going to give you some tips, guys, um, some do's and don'ts with your posting um, so you make sure you kind of stay focused. Um, the best way to do this, I know a lot of people struggle with saying, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to post. Here are some tips of things that I do. I take pictures of everything everywhere I go. I do not use a lot of stock photos at all. Oh, I see Annie. Hi, Annie. I don't use stock photos at all. Maybe, actually, I think I just used one today. <laughs> but I haven't used one in a long time. Um, I use it for a quote. But for the most part, I use real pictures of real people, real things, my real life, um, because I think that's what people like to see. They, you know, they want to see real life. I'm not saying don't use stock photos ever if you're using it for a quote, um, things like that. But for the most part, keep it real. Um, if you have some sort of schedule for your post, that might help you. Um, for example, I know Sharice gave us some really good ones in the um, Blow the Shit Up group that we're in and the social media posts. You know, she, Monday would be like a Shakeology post and she gave some ideas. Um, for me, I kind of just follow, like I do a Monday motivation post um, every Monday. Something motivational having to do with exercise, health, fitness, something along those lines. And for the most part, I don't mention Beachbody. I really don't. I talk about what program I'm doing, what day I'm on, um, how I'm feeling, you know, if I don't want to do it, things like that. I'm, it's more so the emotions of it rather than, you know, the specifics of it. Um, you know, Transformation Tuesday, if you want to stick to doing that. If you're going to share a transformation, try to share somebody that you know, if it's a challenger, if it's a fellow coach. Um, so that way it's personal. I, I think it's a little, um, removes you a little bit more when you post one from like the, let's say, Team Beachbody website, and it's somebody you don't know. Um, so try to keep it as personal as possible. Um, for me, I do What's Up Wednesday, and that's usually like a reflective um, post on like what I'm thinking for the day, or it could be sometimes it's funny, like what's up with like my butt or something like that. Um, but sometimes it's just me thinking about weird things um, and pondering them. Um, for me, I do Deep Thought Thursday, and that's usually a reflective post about something that I've been thinking about. Um, I do try to think a lot. I do my best thinking in the shower, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's the only time it's quiet. Um, you know, Flex Friday, Fun Flex Friday, whatever. So try to have some sort of um, a social media posting schedule that you follow and where you're just changing up the post, but you have a general thing. Because you know what? People sometimes start to look for that, right? A general, oh, wait, Maria. I know Maria does her, uh, you know, her workout video every morning with her sister Michelle, you know? So people probably wake up and look for that. You know, and if, and if Maria stopped doing it, they'd probably be like, what's up with that? You know, where's my Maria, you know? So try to create a schedule for yourself, right? Like every Monday would be like a Shakeology post. And if it's going to be a Shakeology post, don't let it be like you kissing your Shakeology cup and hugging it. You got to talk about what Shakeology has done for you guys. Like Dave's been off high blood pressure medication for how many years? Five, six years? Five, six years because of Shakeology. 
and it's he's it's genetic like he was on high blood pressure medication like that's something to speak about so um not just i love my peanut butter chocolate sh shakeology like what is it doing for you how is it changing your life right and if you could i mean there's a lot of different things it does for you choose one per week that's it right um so create a schedule for yourself whatever you want to do um and stick to it right and that'll that right there will just set you up for one post every day regardless um, share your personal development, share quotes from personal development, share what book you're reading, share that you are doing it intentionally. Like guys, I'm, I'm reading this book right now because I, I'm really into my own personal growth. I think it's so important. Share something that you learned, ask a question, right? Engaging posts. Have you guys ever asked, what should I wear a or B? Have you guys ever done that? You probably get the most engagement you've ever gotten in your life, right? Everybody has an opinion. Everybody wants to tell you how you should look, wear, act, feel, right? So ask for engagement posts. Those are huge. And when you do get a lot of engagement on a post, make sure you're not posting and running and just leaving the post hanging. People are spending time commenting to you. So make sure you go back in and tag the people that, you, um, that commented and just, you know, write back to them in the, in the comments. Um, posting three times a day. Guys, this is so important. I know people struggle with this, especially when you're a newer coach. Like, what do I post? You know, it's, I'm, I'm going to be annoying. Just get rid of all that noise in your head and post three times a day, morning, afternoon, and night, whatever time works best for you. Um, do it three times a day, make it a non-negotiable because that's for the Facebook algorithm. So people will see you more often. You want to just get your face out there constantly. All right. Don't overpost because you don't want to, you know, flood people's feeds. But um, three times a day is good. Um, something you don't want to do. You do not want to go on rants. You do not want to talk about politics or things that are negative. Um, I'm not saying you have to be all rainbows and sunshine and unicorns, right? Because that's not real life. But I'm saying try to take everything. If you have a mess going on in your life, make it your message. Do not use it to, to put people down or be negative or anything along those lines because people will be turned off by that. I know when I personally see um, other coaches post negative stuff, it's a huge turnoff, and I do not follow that person anymore. I will tell you that right now. Huge turnoff. I, I, I don't need to see rainbows and sunshine, but I want to see people being real, and I want to see people taking their message, their mess, and making it their message. That's important. Don't be salesy. Um, that I think we all kind of know. We don't share our, our websites because you know what? That that does not put us in any other different category than the hundreds of other coaches that do that. We're different. We're unique. We share our stories, right? We do not share um, our websites. That's not what we're here for. We are here to help people change their lives, and the only way we do that is by sharing who we are. Um, and you don't have to be all about Beachbody. That's the crazy thing. You know. A lot of times I might message someone and they're like, oh, what, what do you do? They're like, oh, one time I did those beach body workouts. I'm like, haha, funny you should say that. That's actually what I do. Um, and I think that's, that's important not to be branding beach body all over the place because you're not beach body. You are who you are. You're unique and special. And that's who you should be true to. Okay? Beach body is just, what do you call it, Dave? A vehicle? Beach body is not a vehicle. That's what I'm saying. The <laughs> beach body is his vehicle to help people. Um, and document your life. Like, document your day. Sometimes, like, like I said, people say, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to post. Now, you don't have to have a post for every second of the day, right? Like, you don't have to document your entire day. Like I said, I take pictures of things, and I could always use them later on to help me, you know, if, I, if I'm like, oh, I need to post something about one of my kids. I usually try to post something family-related at least once a day. Um, because they're such a huge part of my life, right? So even if I took a picture of Addison in the morning and I posted at night or two days later, doesn't matter. I just, I just use it to have that um, to share later on. And you can always turn it into some sort of fun picture, um, use a fun app, which I'm, I'm, I love to do um, later on. Um, buh, buh, buh. Add value in your posts. So what you want to do is you want to take something that you're good at and you want to add value to um, other people by, by in your post. So, for example, like my coach Joan, I don't know where she is. Is she on here? I think she had a softball game. Um, my coach Joan, um, she had to kind of change her, her eating style and her family for her son who was sick. 
Um, so she posts a lot of recipes and a lot of videos um, and things like that of foods that she's trying out to um, to make with her son. And like she'll say, oh, it's it's Cooper approved, and you know he likes it and things like that. So um, that's like her thing. That became like kind of her thing. So now her big a lot of her posts are you're going to see a lot of food pictures because she's comfortable with that and that's what she enjoys doing. And she does a lot of it for her son. Um, so if you don't like to cook. Don't start posting pictures of food. That's not you, right? Choose the things that you're good at and use those to, um, to kind of highlight. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. I think I said that. I think I said that. Sharing recognition and success. This is so huge. And, and as, as you know, recognition is one of the four vital behaviors. So if any chance you have, you have a um, chance to recognize another coach or one of your challengers um, or even a friend, somebody, Make sure you recognize them publicly on your page. If Get their approval first if you need to. Um, but celebrating success, celebrating recognition and things like that, people are going to go, wow, that's a pretty cool thing that they're doing. You know, like even like posting a picture of our team call, like how all these people come together at 8.30 at night, right? And we're just trying to get better, right? And just learn more and, and, and just work together as a team. And it's very cool that we can work together as a team and we are in all different parts of the country. How cool is that, right? That's something I would share on social media, you know, because not a lot of, not a lot of occupations have that. Um, so recognition, success, things like that. Going live. Now, this is a scary thing for a lot of people, but I will tell you, the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? I remember my first live video, like my face turned all red and I'm like, I don't know what to say. And I was trying to read everyone's comments and I'm like, don't read their comments because now you don't know what to say at all. Like I went blank. Um, but going live, you can be very, very real. You can be very vulnerable and it is real life. So like if your dog's barking in the background or your kids are running around screaming, um, that's real. And, and that's what people kind of like to see. It's like, why do you think um, reality shows are so popular? That's what people like to watch, right? They don't like to watch the, the fake stuff. Um, so be real. And that's when you can do that eye-to-eye -eye contact with people and get real, right? And they can feel you and they can kind of get a sense of who you really are rather than just a still picture. Um, so if you can make it a goal to go live, let's say once a week to start, that's a great way to start. And what do you talk about? Anything. It could be something that you read with your personal development. It could be um, a story you wanted to share, you know, something that you learned. It could, be, um, it could be your story. It could be who you were before Beachbody, right? People would love to hear that story. Um, it could be, you know, what has changed for, you, changed for you with Beachbody. It could be a live workout video. I've seen a lot of you guys go live on our Darlene. I don't know if Darlene's on the call. Darlene said she went live for like 15 minutes last week and did a whole workout. And people were doing it with her and stuff. Like, that's fun. That's, that's what gets people involved and wanting to keep coming back to, um, to watch you. Because, again, that consistency is going to be so key. Um, and if you go live, that's not what a lot of people are willing to do. So do it. Just put yourself out there. Don't think. Just do. I always sit there with that, you know, when your finger's about to hit the live button, you know, for those of you who do them. And I'm like, just, just hit it. Three, two, one. There's no turning back now, right? Um, and, and the biggest thing you want to ask yourself, if you go to your Facebook wall and you start looking through it, right, I want you to ask yourself, do you think that people get a good feel of who you are by what you share? And if you do think so, kudos to you, you're doing well. If you don't think so, think about what are pieces of you that are missing that you're, you haven't been sharing. Maybe you've been holding back a little bit. Um, but really look at that list and use that list to help guide you as to what you need to kind of put in. And guys, you don't have to get crazy personal and share like all of your like crazy background if it's really uncomfortable, but you can spread little bits and share little bits of it in a very tactful way. So you ask yourself, can people get a good feel of who I am if they scroll my Facebook wall, let's say over the course of a week or two, um, and ask yourself, would you follow you? Would you follow you? If you were not you, would you be the type of person that would follow you? Are you interesting? Are you sharing really good content? Are you adding value, right? Are you being positive? Like, like people want to be inspired. People want to be motivated. And they're going to turn to you for that because not everybody's willing to do that. There's a very small percentage of people who actually inspire and a very large percentage of people that want to be inspired. So it is our job 
to, to do that on a daily basis. All right, so you just need to ask yourself those questions um, when you go to your Facebook wall. Am I really being true to who I am? Am I being vulnerable? Am, am I sharing all of me in little bits and pieces? And do people have a really good feel for who I am as a coach, as a mom, as a wife, or whoever I am? Um, do people see that? And if the answer is yes, you're doing a great job, and to, to keep going and don't stop. That's, that's the key. And I think those are the main points that I had. Does anyone have any questions? I spoke a lot more than I thought. No? You guys are all so awesome. All right. They don't have any questions. Dave, did you want to add anything? No, I think it's just just looking for people to do. Well, all right, well, you tell them. Well, I guess I can see myself. Guys, I think the I'm listening to Chris on the whole thing. And just to wrap up, I think the biggest thing is that this is so easy to do, but it's also easy, also easy not to do. And I think that so many people, you know what to do, but you're waiting for the circumstances and everything to be perfect, to have your post be perfect, everything to be lined up instead of just pulling the trigger and learning as you go. And you all have a story. I think one of the biggest things, and we just had – for those of you that saw that, um, the Hey Bro Show with Scotty Hobbs, it just, this just came to my mind. A guy said, hey, you know, I'm extremely overweight. I'm a newer coach, and I'm really not into what normal guy – like I'm not into sports, and I don't really have good conversations and know what to talk about with other guys. Like what do I do? And I answered his question. I just said, just be you because if I think about myself – Ever since I treated this business like a business, I pretty much don't watch sports either. I like to when I have time, but I don't. From this, you know, I'm with my kids. I coach their sports. I'm a busy dad. I work the business. I really don't watch TV. It's rare. So I just talk about me. So I told him, talk about you, and you will attract people. So my recommendation, guys, is you do have a story. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk says the, the number one thing right now is video is vlogging. You know, just you know, documenting your life. Don't create posts. Document what you're doing, and that's what you're doing. You're not boring. You have a story, but remember to do and not to do, right? Okay. That's it. And that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. The recording will be up tomorrow morning or tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, Again, if you ever have any questions, guys, you can always message myself or Dave um, or post it in the uh, coaches group. And thank you so much for joining us on this Monday night. You guys are all awesome. And rock your challenge groups this month, okay? And rock yourself on social media, guys. You guys have all so much to offer, so make sure you're sharing that with everybody, okay? Have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys.